ladies and gentlemen good day and welcome to wandala holidays limited q2 fy24 earnings conference call hosted by icici securities please note that the duration of this call will be 30 minutes only as a reminder all participant lines will be in the listen only mode and there will be an opportunity for you to ask question after the presentation concludes should you need assistance during the conference call please signal an operator by pressing star then zero on your touchstone phone please note that this conference is being recorded i now hand the conference over to mr aditeev chatopadhyay from icic securities thank you and over to you sir uh, good morning everyone on behalf of icic securities i'd like to welcome everyone to the q2 fy24 results call of wonderla holidays limited Uh, today from the management we have with us as always Mr Arun Chitila Pilli the managing director and Mr Arun Srinivasan the DGM finance and accounts and now I'd like to hand over the call to the management for their opening remarks over to you sir thank you hi uh, good morning everyone thank you aditya uh, good morning everyone and thank you for joining the call today on the joyous occasion of dantheras on behalf of wandala holidays uh, i would like to wish all of you a happy diwali and an extend a warm welcome to all of you to discuss uh, the q2 and h1 uh, uh, fi24 results uh, we started fi24 on a strong note uh, with uh, great performance and uh, scaling new heights in q1 uh, our ebitda pat was the highest since inception i'm pleased to inform you that the growth uh, trajectory continues for us uh, Uh, in q2 we uh, grew a remarkable 17% growth in our revenues which stood at about 81 crores um this is a good achievement for us typically in q2 uh, because of uh, the lower seasonality at this point uh, this shows the faith and enthusiasm of our visitors to think mandala as the first choice destination for thrill and adventure um our strategies in digital marketing have been uh, giving us remarkable uh, results Uh, enabling us to reach uh, uh, higher paying customers and uh, with the re- relevant promos- promotions and effective campaign during the quarter we undertook different marketing campaign to highlight uh, festivities uh, and events It seems that we have lost the connection for Mr Arun please stay connected while we reconnect to him thank you Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for patiently holding. We have the line for the management reconnected. Yeah, hi. Sorry about that. Uh, so, as I was saying, I think we did a lot of uh, digital marketing initiatives to, uh, you know, uh, enable us uh, reach our audience, and uh, we did a lot of uh, festival um, festivals and events like uh, Independence Day, uh, Chaturthi, uh, uh, Ganesh Chaturthi, Onam, etc. so we had a uh, pretty good numbers uh, during the quarter especially during the festive season uh, the total footfall in our park stood at uh, 4.96 lakhs uh, 6% growth yoy uh, 
Bangalore Park saw a footfall of 2 lakh visitors, 2.07 lakh visitors. Kochi Park registered a footfall of 1.8 lakh. And Hyderabad observed a footfall of 1.05. Hyderabad is the only uh, park which has shown a slight uh, degrowth. Um, but the footfall for H1 stood at 15.9 lakh versus uh, 15.8 lakhs in uh, H1 FI23, uh, registering a uh, uh, footfall growth of only 1%. Uh, park wise footfall in first half, uh, Bangalore recorded a footfall of 6.7 lakh visitors. Kochi had about 5.03 lakh visitors. And Hyderabad uh, witnessed about 4.2 lakh visitors. With the improving weather and the festive season Q3, we anticipate better footfalls in the coming quarter. Um, we have impl implemented uh, multiple strategies to spur growth in uh, non ticket revenues. Uh, consequently, our R2 and FY, uh, sorry, Q2 FY24 increased by 9% uh, and stood at about 1440. Um, R2 for H1 FY24 is at 1568 uh, rupees, uh, registered a healthy 20% growth, uh, YOY. Uh, uh, we uh, endeavor to provide uh, thrilling experiences to our visitors and are always looking at innovative ways to uh, ramp up Mojo. So during the quarter, we uh, Launched two new attractions in Bangalore Park, uh, Drop Loop and Rainbow Loop. This is, these are uh, uh, slides imported uh, from a very uh, prestigious manufacturer in Turkey. Um, our Hyderabad Park also won the Best Innovation Award for uh, Mission Interstellar Ride from Department of Tourism of Telangana Government. Um, the construction of our Odisha Park is progressing at a good pace. Uh, I'm happy to announce that after uh, receiving all the necessary approvals from Tamil Nadu government, we have commenced the construction of uh, uh, our park in Chennai. Uh, so we just about started doing uh, preliminary uh, work for like build, starting construction of our workshops, etc. Um, we are also exploring opportunities to establish uh, amusement parks in different parts. Arun, your line is not audible. Ladies and gentlemen, we have again lost connection for Mr. Arun. Please stay connected while we reconnect him to the conference. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for patiently holding. We have line for Mr. Arun reconnected on call. Yeah, so could you uh, let me know where did you lose me? Did you lose me? Like, uh, uh, the, did I move to the financial performance already? Yes, sir, you can so, continue. Yeah, yeah okay. Uh, financial performance. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think so we've done a bit of, of about 26.6 crores against 23, 15% growth, uh, then about 13% of uh, PAT which is a growth of about 28%. Uh, now, moving to half yearly, uh, our revenue for first half is about 271 crores versus 222 crores in the first half of FI23, clocking at 22% growth. Uh, EBITDA is 149 crores and grown by 7, 27% YOY, and EBITDA margin stood at 55% and increased 200 basis points by YOY. We have delivered a robust growth in profit after tax for H1, registering 98 crores versus 74.9 crores. The PAT margin is 36%, uh, 200%, 200 uh, BPS uh, uh, growth. As we continue to be debt-free, uh, we can ensure the ability to make strategic uh, in investments and maintain high profitability. Uh, we thank you for your unwa unwavering support uh, and uh, uh, and hope to deliver value to you uh, in long term. Uh, with this, I conclude my speech and wishing all of you uh, happy and prosperous Diwali once again. Now we can open for Q&A, please. Thank you very much.
we will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use handset while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. First question is from the line of Jevi Shikawat from Ambit Capital. Please go ahead. Sure, thanks for taking my question. So Arun, my question is in relation to the kind of expectation you have for football growth next year, given that next year there won't be a high base, and uh, any plans of expanding or adding more attractions at your existing parks to drive that football growth in FI25? Yeah, so uh, we should see this year we are kind of uh, it's a coming back to kind of a normalcy kind of year for us. So that's why we and we didn't expect any football growth. So next year onwards we are expecting football growth because we are you know introducing more attractions. Uh, like I already said, we opened a couple of attractions in Hyderabad. We are adding one more attraction in Hyderabad uh, before the end of this year. In Bangalore is getting a very big attraction with about a 30 crore investment, which is like our virtual reality uh, show uh, mission in this well, uh, which we already have in Hyderabad, but we don't have it in our biggest park. So, you know, so we are, we are doing some of these investments. So you'll see uh, the capacity of the park, uh, especially Bangalore, uh, also will go up a little bit. Uh, one of the issues we have in Bangalore is capacity, especially during peak months. So we need a big new ride to kind of, soak in more people, so that's why we're doing this. Um, so, yeah, so like that, we are, uh, all three parts will see uh, uh, in, uh, good investment this, you know, for the next one, one and a half years to kind of, uh, you know, grow ourselves a little bit and, you know, you know, be able to accommodate more people. So that's going to happen, yes. Sure, that's, that's very helpful. We'll be able to do, uh, we are expecting to get back to uh, like a 5% to 6% growth in footfall per year uh, kind of a thing, uh, which is what we are looking for. It's unrealistic so to expect more than Chennai that because we are all... Sorry? That's excluding Chennai and Odessa Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah. It is excluding Chennai and Odessa. Uh, uh, so it's unrealistic to expect more growth uh, in, uh, you know, Bangalore and the, uh, what do you call it, uh, Cochin. But we are kind of uh, not happy with the performance of Hyderabad. We do feel there is more that we can unlock uh, there, so we are uh, looking to see whether we can uh, get a higher growth of footfall in Hyderabad. So that's something sure. that we are working on. I sure, think. that's very helpful. And secondly, we heard about the bomb blast at the convention center in Kalamasari, Kochi. So was there any mm. impact on footfalls in Kochi during the third quarter because of that? We had an impact for about a week. I think a lot of uh, uh, groups, especially schools and colleges and all, they were, I think, cancelled for about a week. But they have sure. come back since then. I think that has kind of, that died very quickly. So, mm -hmm. not a long-term impact. Sure. And also in your recent interview, you have mentioned about opening your Odessa Park by June of 24. So, could you talk about your pricing strategy there and your expectation of footfalls during FI25 from the Odisha Park? See, our uh, pricing strategy in Orissa is still being evolved, but I think we should be able to price it about 30% uh, lower, uh, 30 to 40% lower than our uh, full full uh, parks, uh, full size parks. So because of that, uh, I think we should be able to get the decent footfall. Uh, uh, Arun will be able to give you some uh, uh, what modeling we have done in terms of football, uh, footfall for the first year. I'm not sure what the exact number is, Arun. Yeah, uh, sir, uh, about uh, six, 6 lakh footfall is what we have uh, tried to project. 6 this. lakh, yeah, that's what I also thought. Yeah, in the first year, and uh, as you said, 30% uh, cut of 70% uh, of Bangalore will be the pricing that we have planned. So sure. we are expecting that to work out. So maybe we will, uh, to start off, we will be aggressive with pricing. So that depends on the marketing uh, uh, strategy that we take that is still not decided how we will do out, do it. So it could fluctuate a little bit, uh, you know, our pricing may be a little more aggressive in the beginning, uh, like an opening period and things like that. So, yeah. Sure, sure, that's helpful. And could you just derail how much of CAPEX on the Chennai and Odisha Park has already been incurred till date? 
Yes. Arun, you can just Arun. give an update. Yeah, so till date it is uh, 48 crores for Odisha and 113 crores for Chennai. Sure. That's what we have been doing till date. Yeah, sure. And lastly, in terms of your discussion Sorry, with various state Jamin, government, may we please request you to rejoin the queue as there are several participants sure. waiting for their turn. Sure, no worries. Thank Thanks a lot. Thank you, sir. Yeah, two questions maximum, please, per. Yeah. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, due to lack of time, we request the participant to restrict your questions to one per participant. Next question is from the line of Angad Kar. Kaddari from Monarch Network Capital. Please go ahead. Hi, sir. Uh, happy Diwali and uh, congratulations on a good set of numbers. Uh, I have a small question, just to follow up on the, the previous participant. Uh, regarding the Hyderabad uh, footfall, can you just mention the reasons why we saw a slight degrowth or a flat numbers compared to the other two parks? Yeah, so for us, Hyderabad is still uh, evolving uh, market, so our strategy needs to be a little more aggressive there. Uh, whereas in um, Cochin and uh, Bangalore, we are very well established already. Like we've been there for more than 15 years kind of thing, right? So I feel like our strategy needs to be a little different because we still feel our uh, um, footfall, like our retail footfall is not as high as it's in the other two parts. So we need to work a little bit more. So that's why uh, I said that I'm... Hopeful that by next year we should be able to change that trend. Okay, and uh, just one small question: uh, Can you just provide the breakup of ticket and non-ticket revenue, uh, ARPU, and uh, also for footfall uh, walk-in and group ratio for Q2? Yeah. So for Q2, the group versus walk-in ratio is 31 is to 69 versus 24 is to 76 in the last quarter of FY23. So uh, okay. uh, there is a uh, more contribution from the group. So there is a 37% increase in the group contribution in Q2 and walking shares in a degrowth of about 4%. And in terms of breakup, in terms of breakup of uh, ARPU, 1048 is the ACC and uh, 392 is the SPS. Put together it is 1440. So SPS has seen a tremendous growth of 15%. And ATP has seen a tremendous growth of 7%, put together this 9% growth over the last year. Okay. Thank you. I'll get back in the queue. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Next question is from the line of Kostu Pawaskar from Sher Khan. Please go ahead. Uh, yeah. Uh, so just a couple of questions. One, on the employee cost, this quarter, the employee cost was higher. So uh, uh, any particular uh, reason for it or... Uh, Employee cost uh, compared to June or is it compared to the last year? Compared to last year. So last year the employee cost will go up because of several reasons because we have given increments, there are new roles added, new positions have been added in the current year, the managing remuneration has increased. So that's why you are seeing, seeing a kind of increase there. Compared to Q2, Q1, uh, we are down in fact. That is basically Thanks. due to the commissions and profitability. Right. And one last one on the uh, second uh, half. They, uh, for the last year, we have seen a uh, substantial increase in the footfall. So considering that, uh, this year, uh, uh, considering the high base, uh, should we assume, you know, flattish kind of uh, footfalls? Or uh, still you expect that there will be, you know, a uh, low to mid single digit kind of a footfall growth? See, this year we are not expecting growth in football, to be very honest. We expect some mi uh, minor growth here and there, and, you know, some seasons and all that. Because last year the base is so high, right? So, and this right. year, you know, things are more, more, you know, everything has gone back to normal. So that uh, effect will be there, but at the same time, it's not as bad as at some point we thought it, we were not sure it would be, you know, it's not as bad, so it's pretty good. We are able to improve, uh, at least keep it, uh, the, you know, steady state. This quarter, uh, we should be able to grow a little bit more, I think, better, because we have, uh, you know, groups are also coming back this year in a much bigger way. Uh, but can't predict for the remainder of the year. And I feel next year onwards, we should be able to show some growth, basically, because, again, we are adding new rights. We, there'll be a slightly more aggressive marketing, uh, especially around launch of new rights and all that. So all that will create more uh, buzz, and we should be able to grow uh, a little bit next year. Uh, and any final 
Yeah. Any finalization of talks with any of the states where you uh, uh, expect uh, to open a new path? Uh, we'll keep, we are talking to various state governments. I think uh, we'll be announcing something soon. Right now, nothing because, uh, you know, a lot of states are going into election and all that. So, uh, you know, we, there's no update as such, but we will definitely, I mean, we are meeting, we are actually uh, been uh, talking to many state governments. Um, uh, so actively we are talking to uh, uh, Madhya Pradesh, uh, we are talking to uh, Punjab, we are talking to Uttar Pradesh, uh, we are talking to Gujarat. So these are the governments that we are talking to. Uh, as and when there is any update, we will definitely keep it posted. Thank you, sir, and all the best for future projects. I will get back into it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next question is from the line of Devang Patel from Samiksha Capital. Please go ahead. Uh, hi, sir. The ARPU growth uh, YOY in Q1 was much stronger at 25%. In Q2, it is at 9%. So what is the outlook for ARPU growth this year? And on a related note, uh, there is an ATP decline uh, in all three par uh, parks sequentially. Is this part of seasonality and the mix change? Or uh, you'd say uh, you'd had to take a... Uh, you know, higher ticket price cut than you were expecting to encourage footfalls. No, no. So this is in line with how we taste because Q2 for us, I said, like I said, uh, Arun has already told you, we had a higher growth in um, uh, groups and it's a seasonally weaker quarter for us. So sequentially, R2 will decline because Q1 is high prices and Q2 lower prices and, uh, you know, the growth of group uh, footfall. So that's uh, completely normal. So... For us to get a 9, 9 10% growth in our uh, Q2 is actually pretty good, uh, ATP growth. So I think it's okay. Yeah. And for the rest of, in the second half, roughly this kind of growth uh, in footfalls and R2, one can expect to continue? Uh, we should be able to start growing a little bit uh, more uh, during the uh, next seasons and all. I think uh, we'll see. I mean, um, we hard to predict. Uh, but I think we should uh, continue along this kind of a path, maybe flattish growth or uh, slightly uh, some, you might see some bumps in football here and there during, uh, but it's hard to predict because, uh, <laughs> you know, it's too early to say how the quarter will, uh, or the rest of the year will, uh, so yeah, it's hard for us to give a number on it or anything, but we should do uh, you know, this way uh, or slightly better than what we're doing so far. Okay. Sir, and very quickly, the reason why the Bangalore resort revenue and occupancy is down, why, why? Uh, so, last year, this time, we had a lot of uh, long-staying guests from large companies who were doing projects around the, uh, you know, expanding the, uh, like, for example, Toyota had taken a lot of rooms from us, uh, you know, for months together. So, that didn't happen this year because those kind of clients are not there this year. That's why you're seeing that drop. But our retail uh, business actually grown, um, uh, so it's, it's not bad. And then revenues, I think we have roughly about 10% uh, less, no, uh, Arun, compared to last yes, year. For the, for the quarter, we are about uh, 16, 15 to 16% down. But as you said, uh, the long stays have only impacted. Last year, we sold about 1,438 rooms for long stays. This year, we have only 270 numbers. So the long stays have impacted the uh, the occupancy as well as the revenues. But the rest of it is going. So we are we are okay yes. with. It. We have we have seen a double digit growth in ARA. So 21 percent growth is there in the ARA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next question is from the line of Aditya Rati from Equitas Investments. Please go ahead. Thank you for taking my question. My first question is regarding the timeline of our both uh, parks that are coming up, Odisha and Chennai. Yes. The timeline regarding that, when do we think that it will be functional? So I think um, uh, next year, the uh, next financial year, uh, we will open Orissa, and uh, the year after that, we'll open Chennai. So uh, maybe June, July of 24, and same, uh, July, oh, July, August of 25. Okay, perfect. And so my last question is regarding the CAPEX that we have already incurred on it and CAPEX that we'll incur on it. 
Arun can give an update. Yeah. On that. Yeah. So uh, as I updated earlier, we have spent about uh, 48 crores out of 146 crores which is budgeted for Odisha. And uh, for uh, Chennai, the budget is uh, 330 out of which we have spent 130. 130. 130. 113. 113. Okay, 113. And Chennai, we have incurred 48 crores out of what is the total plan? Not Chennai. Odisha, Odisha is 48. Chennai is 130. Okay. There will be some revision in our cost though. I mean, there, our, there, will be, there will be a revision uh, in the cost also going forward. So, okay. with the numbers as of now. Yeah. Okay. Actually, spend this uh, 48 and 113. Mr. Aditya, does that answer your question? Yes, I said okay. that is from Thank you. Thank you, sir. Next question is from the line of Ankit Kanodia from Investor. Please go ahead. Thank you so much for taking my question and congratulations on good set of numbers. Uh, so my question is slightly long-term oriented as to how do we see this uh, football going up, uh, say, about five to seven years down the line? Uh, I know it is hard to put a number, but when we uh, look at the examples in the U.S. where we have so many parks like this and the kind of uh, um, runway we see in, in, in the Indian economy where the consumption and the retail demand for uh, having these kind of experiences, uh, is, it, is it okay to assume somewhere around, say, uh, assuming that we have the capacity in our parks, we can reach somewhere around uh, any any big number or any number you would like to share, uh, say seven eight years down, ten years down the line, footfalls. See, right now we are at one one point two uh, million. Uh, you know, by seven eight years we should get closer to two million visitors. Uh, that's the goal. Uh, so we should grow. The footfall should grow in each park. Uh, but uh, you know, when you grow footfalls like that, you all, the park also has to get bigger. So. Um, so that is, so it's a, it's a chicken and egg. Both, you have to do both. Uh, so that's why we are kind of embarking on a, you know, uh, like expansion on our, uh, parks because that's also, that's what also drives more football in a way. Um, because people need to have the right experience, right? And we should be able to accommodate more people. Right, right, right. Uh, my second and the last question would be related to ARPU. So, uh, okay. again, from a longer-term perspective, uh, where do we see ARPU from here as more and more park becomes... Uh, uh, so ARPU, they should grow. I mean, I think it should grow inflation plus another 5%, 5-6% five, five, uh, uh, on top of that also. So, I think, yeah, I mean, ARPU should grow because I think we have a, a multi-pronged approach to improve ARPU. One is to increase ticket prices. One is to improve non-ticket revenue, which is also uh, actually a, going to be a bigger and bigger contributor of ARPU um, going forward. So I think uh, that also should grow in double digits is what I think. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. And yeah. all the best. Thanks. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we will take this as the last question for the day. I now hand the conference over to the management for the closing comments. Uh, thank you, thank you everyone for uh, joining our uh, uh, Q2 conference call. Wishing all of you a very happy Diwali uh, once again, and uh, I'll see, we'll hope to see you guys soon. Um, yes, thank you so much. Thank you. On behalf of ICHI Securities, that concludes this conference. Thank you all for joining us, and you may now disconnect your lines.